Welcome to a very special edition of the Back of the Class podcast, Game of Thrones edition. I'm here with Zach. Hey. And once again, the returning champion. could keep me away. Yeah. <laughs> What's up? What's up? So uh, obviously, this whole show is going to be Game of Thrones because yesterday was the season finale. And yeah. what a finale it was. Oh, my God. Can't believe it was so good after the uh, Battle of the Bastards. Oh. You know what was good about it? Like just how long it was. Like yeah. Yeah. every single year, every every single episode this year, I feel like has been like fifty one minutes. And I was just like, I was. It was nice to like settle in, mm-hmm. and it was nice and long. Did it start late? I I watched it so late in the night. I think uh, it started a couple minutes late. Yeah, it did, they were right? they were hyping the other HBO shows. Yeah, because they're like, well, right. we got you. Yeah, yeah, hey, and we I, know I mean, we got I would you. do the same thing. I don't blame him at all. <laughs> what about yeah. this show where a guy killed someone? Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Night of coming soon. Yeah, even yeah. though I'm really like psyched to see that too. Though. Yeah, see what yeah. it is. Um, all right, let's jump in. I'll let in. you guys go. I'll let you guys the, go for the it. nuclear wildfire bomb at King's Landing, people. Let me ask you guys a question. Yeah, that I feel like has not been asked. Okay, and I'll go it right into exclusive it. King's Landing. Was Tommen a good king? He was a joke. Yeah. Was he? I feel like mm-hmm. he was kind of a good king. Yeah. But he didn't really do anything ever. Yeah. The he, one thing he did was like, he was like, we're going to work closely with the church. And <laughs> yeah. everyone liked that. Right. I don't know. Yeah. Like, I feel like. But like, he, he really, like, you know, his, his wife that he's in love with is, you know, put in a dungeon, you know, mm-hmm. just like his mom. And he's just like. Yeah, he didn't but, do anything but, about but it. But I love my wife. Yeah, he kind of he kind of sucked as like a, yeah. as like a husband, yeah. I guess. But like, I feel like he was a. He was, I feel like he was an okay king. Like, He's whatever a, happened in King's Landing before, like, during his reign, it was pretty pretty peaceful to yeah. me. Yeah, I mean, true. that's true. I mean, that, coming off of Joffrey, like, anything, yeah. you know, short of having the Mad King again would have been, you know, a slice of heaven. I mean, he was nice, which, you know, <laughs> whenever I meet somebody and I ask them to describe, you know, who they're dating or their new friend and they say nice, I'm just like, Come on, <laughs> tell me, tell me what they're actually like, they're you know? Nice. Yeah, um, he was so, easily manipulated too, mm-hmm. you know. Was, For sure, he was. He was. He weak. wasn't the smartest was guy. I'm just saying, like he thought he could fly out out windows though, which yeah, was a that, major that major letdown. That was him. a big flaw. <laughs> that was that was a knock against him. But yeah, I feel like in terms of like his run as king, I feel like. He he was okay. Like he I feel like right. everybody around him. Like for the community, he did. he did all right. For yeah, himself. exactly. I get it. Yeah. Well, also that thing with the faith too, though, was like the people who were happy were the people who were there to watch somebody get shame walked, mm-hmm. who That's were already true. you know in on the faith. Those are the people who are in the club. Yeah. But none of that matters at all yeah. now. <laughs> can we can we talk about <laughs> the pacing and the music was? Yeah, was oh crazy. yeah. On. Believable. Some one uh, I don't know show busy media person the other day tweeted. Um, I don't know how you pronounce his name. His first name is Ramin. He's the soundtrack guy, and he mm-hmm. tweeted out, "He's like season six soundtrack is out today, and I think it's one of his best." So then I had a specific ear toward that in the episode, and yeah, Dude, it was. It, it was I mean, that's it, was, cool. it was it was close. It was almost perfection. It I always listen to those when I was reading the books too, which was great. <sighs> so good. Yeah. Um. So wildfire, man. What do you, did you got? Was it predictable? <laughs> did we all see it coming? Yeah, I think yeah, so. right. But it was it was still like it was still surprising in the sense that like how they kind of set it up, mm-hmm. and you know, I let me. Here's a question, like n- not a rhetorical question. I actually want the answer to this. Why did a little <laughs> kid like lure uh, the the cousin? Yeah, Lancel. Yeah, uh, down into there. Was that just like a dramatic thing? I don't really. Yeah. I think he just saw him. Uh, I don't think the kid was supposed to be seen. I think he saw him, and that was our window toward, you know, the shock of um, seeing yeah, that happen. Yeah. I think I think the kid was just supposed to run down and do it, and there definitely shouldn't have been, like, any warning. You think he you was know? astray from uh, one of the kids that was supposed to the shank? Sp- um, yeah, well, those those they got a – that's their own whole army. It's funny, too, because the sparrows are, like, the religious people, but that's also ca- what they call those little kids who are, like, the spies. Mm. I, I'm pretty yeah. sure if I'm not wrong – and yeah, they're they're pretty formidable. They really stabbed the shit out of a uh, Grand Maester Pycelle. Grand Maester Poor Pycelle. guy. I yeah. was like, I was like, maybe for once we we're not gonna see the uh, graphic <laughs> stabbing. You know, no. maybe maybe they'll pull a punch. Hey, he didn't go nope. out that bad. Like you saw what he did before he left his room. So yeah. at least he got one more good, <laughs> you know, uh, 
laying down. Right. F- that was cool too because they Trying showed to... that in season one that he was actually way yeah. more spry, more mobile than you thought. And he's like sleeping with a young woman, and then they never brought that back. And then I this forgot time. about that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. How do you guys feel about everybody in that uh, structure, or whatever that church, whatever the hell it's called? Well, you know what? <laughs> what I, I feel like we we didn't really get closure with the Marjorie thing because it seemed like she kind of was playing. Oh, the, she was the 100% Faith Milton, playing, yeah. and like had a whole plan in place. And I guess we'll just never know what that plan right, is. Yeah. Well, me, yeah, true. Yeah. I mean, it, it's kind of coming to light. I mean, we'll get to this later, but, you know, she gave the paper to right. her grandmother. Um, we still kind of don't know, do we, what the flower meant that was written on the yeah, paper? Yeah, that's their house sign. So I, I think she did actually make something happen there because she was like, you got to get out of here. Mm-hmm. You got to know that our house is, like, still strong and our house still needs to do the right thing and, like, side with the right team. Yeah. yeah. So that was that was influential because now – she was down there in Dorne doing the, you know, pact, and then she'll go back. And the pe- the place where those people are from, the Tyrells High Garden, they're like pretty formidable. Yeah, that's why when Renly, uh, Robert Baratheon's brother, was on the march, uh, he was like he would have stormed King's Landing and won because he had that. Really? Yeah, definitely. Oh, so that's a good ally for Dorne to have. Yeah. So can I just very quickly interrupt that? My my literally like through these six seasons, my literally my least favorite plot device was Melisandre's, like, ghost assassin. Yeah. Axed friendly. Like, literally, yeah. like, what? Like, what did that... <laughs> like, that's never been used again. It's just like, oh, we can't really figure out how to kill this Stannis' brother. Like, uh, ghost assassin? All right, like, here. That was, that was from, that was from the books, too, though. I know, but, yeah. like... I don't know. That I was, think that was the first like, like making rules up at yeah. that point. But. Well, that because that was the first like biggest magic moment. I think. Like, yeah. The the supernatural and the magic has escalated over the years, along with the dragons, and like that was one of the first times. We Just were, like, to recap, this shit. is the stuff that come out of her. Yes. When she yeah, like had the kid, <laughs> gotcha, and yes, it was a shadow, yes. and then it yeah. Yeah, that was. Come on, that was that <laughs> was, was silly. It was, was cool though no, too it because was. it was a shadow, so it's a you know it's like a. <laughs> It's a cool way to come into the magic with an actual shadow, not like a it's monster. True. Yeah. yeah, and it also was cool because it really fucked with everybody who was in or not in that tent because nobody mm. believed it. Yeah, um, and it was just chaos. But yeah, I, I hear what you're saying. Yeah. It's just a little. Yeah. I agree. Anyway, that was well, one of those moments. Where like, oh, we're going there. Okay. <laughs> but you also had to see her do some serious magic That's to true. believe true in that. her. You know, resurrecting Jon yeah. Snow. That's true. That's a good point. Yeah. I just wish maybe maybe here's my complaint. Maybe if there were more shadow assassins <laughs> than just like the one. Like if yeah. they were, if like because literally like the whole time like Stannis is doing his thing, hey Melisandre wanna make another shadow assassin, maybe right. go before the fight and kill Ramsey Bolton or something yeah. like yeah. that. Or Roos Bolton, I guess it was at that point. But right. like come on, like I mean, get some more shadow assassins. Let's they might, go. They might have asked for more money after the first one. You know, yeah, like, hey, I do true. good work. Nobody, nobody. <laughs> yeah, you know. all right. All so, right. Well, we we definitely have to spend more time on that wildfire in a little bit here because yes. that's like one of the biggest moments ever. But speaking of shadow assassins, Arya Stark. Yeah. Oh, how about finally, that? Finally, man, that's so chopping plug. Walter Frey's neck. Oh that was my a surprise. God. That, that no, yeah, was the biggest here. surprise to me in the Where'd finale. she get the time to bake that pie? <laughs> I know. Seriously. <laughs> and she was there the whole time. And it's funny because she was remember she was eyeing Jamie and oh, that exchange was so funny. But yeah. Bronn's like, dude, like they're looking at you. I never, I never put that together. I just thought that was some new woman who had just come up to Frey. So that's that's cool. Yeah. So like she was there the whole time. Yeah. And she was making eyes at him. So that has to be foreshadowing. It's like, oh, like don't think I forgot about you either. Yeah. So so, so I like t- twenty minutes before we got into this room, just published something that Jason edited about the biggest changes and additions uh, from the books, and the way that Arya got over there was just so great because you know we were complaining about that maybe she's gonna go off with these actors and just continue for how many more seasons <laughs> doing like who knows what the putting fuck. us through the but that finally shit. now yeah after two whole seasons like she just shows up and you never would have expected her to be back you know in Westeros and yeah. just oh my god yeah I kind of get that story arc now where we were all like where is this going? Like, if she's not, if she's going through all this and not, but it now still it's like, too long. it was, no, it was a hundred percent too long, but I get now where they were going, where, all right, she wants to forget about everything that happened. She wants to be a nameless assassin. This is what she wants until finally she's like, you know what? No, I'm a fucking Stark and I need to get vengeance on all yeah. the foul shit that they've done to my family and me. 
And, you know, I guess, and then now you see, you know, her journey's taking her back to where she's from and, you know. So I, I thought the first time you saw the guy Jack in way back, like, change his face, yeah. mm-hmm. it looked like magic. Yeah. But everything we've seen now, it really seems like it's, it's these It's Mission faces. Impossible 2. So <laughs> now what, that she's not at the House of Black it and is. White? Do you like, remember Mission Impossible 2? Oh, yeah, literally yeah. the, the first whole, one, too. Well, the whole movie. Oh, there the, was a lot more of all it. In, literally every scene in Mission Impossible 2, someone's <laughs> taking a mask off. It's hilarious. So did she, like, come to Westeros with a bag of faces? Or I was actually thinking about that, Does she that have too. to, like, g- grab a face off somebody and, like, clean it off and get it ready? Yeah, if we're playing by face-off rules, I mean, then she needs <laughs> surgery, and then she needs to confront Nicolas Cage in the prison, and then I... I, I, I it I changes their that. eyes, though. Yeah. So it's... Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's. I think that's one of the magic. Parts there must be some kind of magic of the in show. there. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, definitely. That was one of my favorite. It parts. was good to get a good. Um, I feel like this episode was a lot of people you've been hating for a while, kind of getting their comeuppance. Mm-hmm. Um, so that that's always good to see because the Starks are always getting. It was just bashed yeah. in, man. So it's good to see, finally, you know, some good coming out of it. I think I can. Can I make a prediction? Please. Uh, and we can get into the whole Jon Snow, Santa, Littlefinger thing. Mm-hmm. I think Santa's going to be, I think Santa's going to die in, like, the next season or two. Oh, yeah. how come? Because it's just, like, you can't have all the Starks. Like, right. all the Starks are, like, basically thriving now. Yeah. They're all kicking ass. Well, the I ones that like, are left. Yeah, exactly. But, There's like, I feel like, well, yeah, R.I.P. Rickon, I guess. But, um, yeah, I feel like. <laughs> just a throwaway. Yeah, but, like, I feel like in terms of, like, John and and Sansa and, and Arya, I, I just feel like Sansa is the most vulnerable, and I feel like she kind of has the affection of Littlefinger now. But I feel like she's gonna cross him, and that'll be it. So she seemed happy with John being uh, named King in the North too. Yeah. Right? yeah, that scene, bro. Like, um, oh, that was great. I was watching that, and I was just like, I didn't cry, but <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, now, as close as you can get, it was emotional, yeah, definitely. Man. Yeah. Now let me. L- let me ask a question. I've been saying let me ask a question a lot. Now, the guy <laughs> the guy who was in charge of House Glover, mm-hmm. why didn't Danny Glover play <laughs> that part? Because, like, is that in the – is is House Glover in the books, Zach? Um, black people are not allowed on Game of Thrones, <laughs> yeah, Jason. No, so. I was going to say, I don't no. think that one dude, um, the, the, the pirate, big bodyguard guy. From, oh, yeah, Hota, yeah. No, maybe next season, you know, sometimes they change the awesome actors. That'd be awesome, because he literally could have said, I'm getting too old for this shit, <laughs> when, oh it comes to, when it comes to fighting for House Stark. Uh, anyway. Man. Yeah. That actually would have been pretty good. Nah, I love that. <laughs> I, I, see you I would have popped it. for that, but that's the one with 80s baby, and I love those movies. But. Well, just the way that that unfolded the last, that was maybe one of the best ways they've ever ended an episode. That last because half any, hour? Any, but Ooh. those three scenes with the king, the queen, and the other queen, like, they yeah. could have ended on any of those. Yeah. And they just went one, two, three, and they set it up. They're like, these are your yeah. these are your three main players, basically, That right scene yep. I was watching, and I was like, all right, this is a good place to leave us. And then I was like, oh, there's more. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, that scene was super emotional. I love that he, he's my favorite character. Like, John's my favorite character. But, like, to go back to what Jason was saying about the Starks, I feel like the ones left are the ones that have gone through the most shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, that, yeah, just because they've been around So more. it kind of makes sense for them to finally get some good in their life. But yeah. in Game of Thrones, nobody's ever safe, man. Yeah, that's so. the whole yeah. thing. Well, I just counted up when you were saying that about Sansa. It's four Starks down, four Starks still up. Ned, Catelyn, Rob, and uh, Rickon all died. And we still got Jon, Sansa, Arya, and... Yeah, who's the fourth? Bran. Oh, yeah, your boy Bran. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> your man. boy Bran. So yeah, we've got fe- two at Winterfell and two, like, pretty close, so... Yeah, we'll see. They can fantastic so forward at Winterfell so you, pretty quick. Where is Bran and... And his pal. Now. North of the Wall. Brand, yeah. Brandon Pell. That's a, that's a yeah. that's his own show. Brandon Friends. Yeah. But, like, so what? It, it kind of sucks for them that, like, their uncle left and was like, good luck. Yeah, dude, what's that? And, like, that? they can't, how, how are they going to get around now? Yeah, exactly. That right? A, they I didn't have that same. sled anymore. I love that he was like, all right, this is where I leave you. And I'm like, uh. I thought they were going to leave him with a ride, at least. Yeah, like, too, leave him at the doorstep of the train or something. Maybe just, like, a train. 
It was give her an a airport sled. The wall, mm-hmm. something like, like that. Give her something. <laughs> it was definitely sled. significant that they talked about the magic in the wall and how it's not just a wall. It's magic and how it can't, the dead can't get by as long as it stands. Yeah. Which is uh, bum, bum, bum. one of the craziest <laughs> theories that I love so much is that there is an ice dragon buried under the wall. What? <laughs> and that the wall Ooh. is like its spine. Oh my goodness. That actually would be pretty cool. It's crazy. <laughs> That's weird. There's yeah, a lot that goes into it too, but um, it's pretty out there. <laughs> so what what else what else we got? So I guess while we're on Bran and the magic and stuff, we we went through Bran's eyes back to that tower. Yeah. And back to angsty young Ned Stark, who looks nothing like. Yeah. No, did you see Sean in the Dean? in the previously on they shifted from you know original Ned Stark to young Ned Stark like in one shot, and but it was good. Yeah, it, I think he sounds like him, which I, which is all I really care about. All those Starks have that accent. Yeah, like hard. Benjen last night was bringing it down. I was just like, this dude looks nothing like Ned. But continue. So yeah, so it confirmed this this R plus L equals J theory that's been going on forever. Yeah, explain um, that. Explain that theory, which just is in case people don't know. the R is Rhaegar Targaryen, the L is Lyanna or Lyanna Stark, and uh, it's that those two uh, plus each other. <laughs> And uh, equal the <laughs> plus each other. <laughs> they, they plus, plus the shit other. out of each other, and they it's a clean made show. This is a clean show, ladies and gentlemen. They yeah. plus each other. And <laughs> they made well, they weren't. John they, that was like Snow. that was a rape, though. They weren't in love, were they? No, they they were. Oh, they were in yeah, love. Yeah. Why um, did Why did I think that Rhaegar raped her? Wasn't that part of like the his, his name? Thing maybe he's got no, some good alliteration. Like, I mean, I'm glad that <laughs> he didn't because like this show has too much rape anyway. But, yeah. Like, no, no. I, okay, they, so they were in love. I didn't. I mean, they've they. They've emphasized it very little on the show, I think. I mean, they have had those conversations, but unless you were really, like, keyed in and looking for them, you'd be like, okay, we're talking about a guy who's been dead for a long time and a woman who's been dead, and we don't really know their significance. Yeah. But, yeah, no, she was um, betrothed to Robert Baratheon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was um, in love with her. Because, you know, him and Ned Stark grew up like brothers. Yeah. Um, so he was close with her. They got betrothed, and she wasn't really into him. She kind of fell for Rhaegar Targaryen. He was, I'm pretty sure he was kind of a beautiful man in the same way that Daenerys and her Hell brother yeah. are. So he was a stud. She, uh, They had a brief affair. She got pregnant, and... Uh, Many a pluses. And, and Robert killed him, so if... and and Oh, Robert they, killed him. Okay. Robert killed him in the war, yeah. Um, so if... And it's it's silly because they whispered. She whispered I the hated one moment. That. So we oh. know that we know <laughs> that, that Ned is me. John's uncle. We know that Ned's sister is John's mom. But <laughs> yeah. he'll kill him if he finds out. It's like I'm gonna kill you if you don't tell me who yeah. it is. Come on, Game of Thrones writers. Well, yeah. you kind of know. Like he'll kill him if he finds out. He's obviously talking about and that. But she also could have been talking about John. She could have been saying Robert will kill John oh, if he finds I mean. out that it's not. Yeah, yeah that yeah. So. It that maybe they want to do a switcheroo now and be like it is Lyanna Stark, but the dad is I don't know who else it could be, but but the basically the way that works out what is what if it was Maester Eamon? That'd be pretty surprising. <laughs> that would, yeah. Maester, uh, be a real the other Maester dude, May December romance yeah. there <laughs> for sure. <laughs> the a other long Maester distance. dude who is now the the Queen's hand. You saw he had the pin when she was crowned. Oh, he yeah, did? yeah, he peeped that. What Kyburn? Uh, the, basically the guy who's yeah. helping Sarah. I, 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 I'm so bad. Yeah, with he's so like he. I, I kind of want to so call many. him MVP of this season because like, yo, he bet on the right horse. Oh, like he 100%. was legit. Like, yo, I'm gonna make this big mountain like <laughs> this crazy guy for you, and like I'm just gonna follow you around and like kill all your enemies. And yo, I hope it works out. I hope you yeah. you do kill all your enemies because then I'm sitting pretty. Kyvern, man, he's your MVP. He's thriving. Yeah. What and did What did you guys think of like when Jamie got there and saw her get crowned and he had that face of not happy? I was hoping she would bring Jamie up and she'd be like, "This is it now. Like we're not gonna hide anymore. Like I just killed everyone. If you have a problem That's with a point. with me being with my brother, then he didn't look happy though. Deal with it. <laughs> yeah. Well, the, he didn't. Yeah, he I, uh, it's out. funny. I didn't really read. I only read one recap of this episode, and the, and I honestly forget Bruce. where I read it. I oh, okay. I totally forget. But um, deadline dot com. No, I've been <laughs> recapping <laughs> hard actually. But it was uh, but the the person writing uh made a good point, which is that like he is like Jamie's the Kingslayer. Like he killed um the Mad King mm-hmm. before he could torch the whole city, and then like. 
the person he loves the most literally just did the exact same thing. So talk about mixed feelings. Yeah, Jamie seems like a good guy who can easily slip down a slope of doing bad things. Yeah. Um, He's always been conflicted about having killed the king, and you could see even Frey last night was, like, twisting the knife, and it was upsetting him. So I don't think he's one for mass extinction, (laughs) mass extermination or... Um, so I think he definitely had, but some, he's some easily, there. easily manipulated by Cersei. Oh, how about also his one remaining child killed himself because yeah, exactly. of what Cersei did. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's, and that's why I was like, he doesn't look like he's happy, but you don't know at this point what he knows, what he doesn't know. Mm-hmm. He just knows like, Oh shit, there's a new queen of, you know, Kings like at Queen's Landing. So yeah. he doesn't know that his son just fucking, you know, I'm pretty sure he probably knows. I, I mean, he, he probably should, but that face he was making, he wasn't a hundred percent upset but he wasn't happy either so i think it was he's like (laughs) it was probably mostly just like wait till you see what the hell's gonna happen with these guys next season because yeah yeah it's gonna be messy because they've always just been scheming in like back bedrooms and stuff and now yeah (laughs) real quick before we move on to marine can we talk about when cersei's like fucking vindictive because she kidnapped the the woman the the warden of the prison yeah, that, that they have was, was kind of gross. That was the, definitely but like gross it's like, part. and then that whole uh, monologue of like what I do because I like it, like ah uh, yeah, you did it because you like it. I yeah, do what I, I fuck my brother because exec- I like yeah, it. Yeah, it was oh executed so well. Like she, and then when he walked in, I was like, oh shit. Like, yeah, that was God, it. I. I was definitely very unhappy that we're leaving on a shot of him, you know, whatever he's going to do to her, probably rape. And, but also, I did feel before that satisfied a bit of how Cersei's treating this woman who was this, you know, uh, zealot who yeah. was horrible to her. It's just like pouring the wine on her and stuff. Yeah. It's like, it's yeah. uncomfortable, but it's also like you can vicariously feel Cersei's satisfaction there. Because a lot of these people, you would flash back to where they were at the end of last season. Yeah, exactly. And just in one season, how mm-hmm. far they came, you know. Yeah. Arya did. Sansa did. Um, Cersei did. But then, yeah, I, I think it was probably pretty deliberate that you're, like, rooting for Cersei a little bit there, feeling good. And then you realize, like, no, she's she she's happy to throw this scepter to just this monster, a literal monster. She's had a roller coaster of, like, an arc because there's points where you despise her in, you know, in, like, the first f- couple seasons. And then last season... You kind of fell for her. Yeah, it's just the walk. You're like, damn, that's some foul shit. And then, (laughs) you know, but then she overcomes. You're like, you know what? She overcame some fucked up shit. And then now you're just like, fuck, you just killed a whole shitload of people who, I mean, most of them are fucking assholes, but not the entire room of just people who wanted to see the trial. Yeah, RIP to Marjorie's dad, who was one of my favorite dudes. What? With the the mustache. You know I like goofy stuff. So, like, the mustache, (laughs) and he's like... I can't go through with this when yeah. Loris was doing the the head thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I liked him. That that was my dude. I've got to figure out how to reconcile with how much time they have now spent building things up that in the end just don't matter at all. And we yeah. talked about that a little in terms of like the dragons and the white walkers kind of make yeah. nothing matter. Yeah. But like we spent so long looking at what's going on with Loris there and stuff and thinking mm-hmm. about, you know, what comes next and stuff and so I have to figure out how they deliberately did that in the story. Yeah, because RIP to Otherwise, Lawrence. they spent 10 minutes there for everybody to just get vaporized. Yeah. I also feel they didn't do justice because <clears throat> I think, and I mean, I don't know how you guys felt, but, you know, the head sparrow was, like, annoying the fuck out of everybody. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it's just the way he goes away is just looking around after not believing Margie when she's like, shit's about to happen. Like, mm-hmm. it's about to get real in here. We should get everybody out. And he's like, nonsense, you know. When you're supposed to be at trial, you will be at trial. And he's just like looking around, like, you know, like somebody's knocking at his door with his delivery. And he it just looked to me like he door. saw it in his eyes that he was screwed. He, and then he's the one person you see get vaporized. Yeah. Yeah, but it, <clears throat> like there was no like final words. But all like, his people got vaporized too, man. Yeah. Like yeah, everybody they were all who was behind him, she got them all. Yeah. So. I kind of wished but, it was just more on him say something like, I fucked up, or oh, you know, maybe the gods don't love just something where you're just yeah. like, okay, fuck you, you know what I mean? I'm <laughs> maybe the finger nobody can see, uh, not specifically at Zach, but whatever. Um, yeah, I wish I would have saw him kind of not suffer, but a little more attention put into his demise, I guess. Yeah, well, we could tie up King's Landing with just the, the actual wildfire itself quickly here, which is like. 
I wrote this in my thing about the changes to the books, which is like Cersei does the wildfire thing to the Tower of the Hand, which is inside the castle in mm-hmm. the book, and it just burns. I mean, it's just gotcha. like she's putting kerosene on yeah. it, and it actually burns. And I don't think in the Battle of Blackwater either that it's like this, but in the show it was in both these situations where wildfires, it reminds me of like an atom bomb. Yeah. Like it makes yeah. like a mushroom cloud, and yeah. it's just, it's unreal. And I love to think about how limited technology is in that time and how you can do this thing that is, you know, thousands of years advanced um, compared to what you have, basically. Yeah. I read somewhere that all those drums of wildfire were there since the Mad King because I was his failsafe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Was that in the book? Yeah, that was the whole thing. Because that's, that's what, that's what the dude there. came and he's like, hey, like, little birdie said, it's well, true. Well, the whole thing is in, in season two at the Battle of Blackwater, that was when... Tyrion was smart enough to be like, yo, we have a lot of wildfire. Let's yeah. use some <laughs> of it to, to win. And that's how they yeah. they helped defeat um, my boy Stannis. So, Yeah, I, I was I, – I, they kept doing things from the books that had been seasons before with a slight turn, like right. this Cersei using the wildfire thing. And I liked it, but I also was expe- – I was surprised by it still because I was expecting – Cersei was so down and out – I didn't think she had a plan. I thought she was going to maybe sacrifice herself. I thought she was going to burn up the castle. Really? Um, and or just, like, a bunch of the city. Yeah. But she had it down. She, she has her, it. like, Darth Vader-y queen <laughs> outfit going, too. Yeah. That was cool. That was the one part I really liked. When she put that on at first, though, I was just like, oh, this is badass. And then I was just like, am I am I supposed to be rooting for Cersei because she put on a cool outfit? Yeah. Like, come on. <laughs> Damn it right. Happens. You know. It happens. It happens. Every Batman movie has a part where he's putting on a suit. And you know yeah. what it looks like. You know how he puts it on. But damn it, you need to see that shit go on. Oh, man. So, um, so I think with John, if he... I mean, he almost definitely has that Targaryen blood. And, like, through the male line of ascension, which is what all these people in Westeros like, he would be the rightful heir to the throne. But he's also Daenerys' nephew, so she has that seniority. Yeah. Uh, also, she has some dragons that he doesn't have. But also, yeah. how do they prove um, it? Is this, You will out Bran and be like, hey, tell him what you told me. And then he just, oh, you know, I saw through my third-eyed raven right. thing that <laughs> he's... Yeah. The rifle it, and who's everybody's gonna be like what? Yeah, like where get this notarized? Like how do I know this is like official? You know what I mean? Like that's gonna be <laughs> notarized. <laughs> like you need some type of official. Yeah, thing to, like, I'm, take they'll the they'll figure out some kind of way. Bram will Bram will project it up on the the wall <laughs> in the great hall. <laughs> well, but, um, does anybody else know about? About that, I guess it's just Bran. It was just Ned Stark, and I don't even think Catelyn knew about it. Yeah. So. I think he could continue to be the king in the north and Daenerys rule in the south. And yeah. they have that two armed uh, Targaryen like sort five. of. Yeah, I want them five. in the same room. I just want to see them in the same room. You know, oh, what, it'll happen. You know what's going to be cool? Um, next season will probably be a, like a reunion with all the Lannister kids because like Tyrion's coming back mm. to King's Landing as the enemy of Cersei and Jaime. So yeah. that'll be kind of interesting. And they all want his ass because he killed their father. Yeah. Yeah, that so. that scene with uh, Daenerys and Tyrion was so great. He, yeah, when he, yeah. Let's just let's just go Tyrion. to that. Has oh. he ever bowed down to anybody or no. showed like all out respect to anybody? I don't think so. Yeah, I mean it. It's interesting because I feel like there hasn't been that many. I mean, obviously Daenerys was kind of gone for a lot of this season, but mm-hmm. like, has there been that many instances of her like impressing Tyrion? I guess like with her like diplomacy i guess like he sees her sh- like power and dragons and mm-hmm. like but i feel like you know when he's like i believe in you like i didn't i, I don't know that f- i found the li- i was like huh real like what exactly do you believe in aside from like that she can't be burnt i right. think it's her dragons. persistence and her ambition and eye on the goal that she will be the queen of Mm-hmm. You know the the realm, I guess you could say, and like you know, she ended up with the Dothrakis again, and they were gonna, and then what she do? She fucking lit up that whole shit in the fire, and then yeah. she was their queen again. Yeah, she, you know, she finds a way. You know, Marine could have been taken over by the damn it. What are those things? The, the gold mask, the sons of the heartbeat. Yeah, like that could have been the masters, downfall. Yeah, yeah that could have yeah. been the the downfall of that, and it didn't happen. And yeah. she, you know, she stayed the course. She knows, <clears throat> she takes counsel well. 
you know. I think he respected her, and I also think kind of selfishly he thought, okay, I'm on the right team now because yeah. he's like one of the most wanted men in the world, kind of for putting that huge crack in the Lannister arm armor. Um, but I think the transition here at the end, I think he kind of saw himself as an equal to her almost yeah. intellectually and in terms of like you need me mm -hmm. but i think this was like i'm i'm like pledging my life to you basically yeah which is very different that that kneeling was very significant and also to just be respected enough to get the pin That's to be the, the hand of the he yeah. never to be he's never been queen, acknowledged right? to be yeah anything he's, other than a dwarf in right. You know, he got just to, lucky he got to, to be rule. in that bloodline. Yeah, yeah. He now got to it's rule like, a little, yeah, uh, King's now it's like, holy shit, someone for... of power who is about to be the queen of the realm mm -hmm. wants me to be her counsel and her hand of the queen. Yeah, I think that's why he kneeled and he got emotional. And yeah, that scene, two of my favorite characters in, in one scene. And again, I feel, I feel like it's gonna kind of be almost too e like so. Uh, obviously, Dana it's gonna be like Daenerys versus Cersei. I feel like it's almost gonna be too easy because like. <laughs> Everybody's coming for Cersei now. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Nothing has ever mattered that's happening yeah. in Westeros because it's all yeah, it's all gonna be so easy. And they got no wildfire kit. Yeah. That that well is run dry. Yeah. So yeah. it's true. So yeah, she she uh, so Daenerys, that was just so great when she's sailing and you just see like you got the unsullied on this yeah. ship. You got the Dothraki on this ship. You've got Greyjoys. Oh, the Greyjoys, Greyjoys yeah. yeah. It's just so cool. It, it reminded me, I've got this friend, Liddy, and she's always worn a Targaryen logo t-shirt. And it was kind of uh, cultish a little bit a while ago. And then, you know, it was a little underdogish. And now, mm -hmm. last night, I see her logo from her t-shirt on these giant sails on the <laughs> ships. And it just it was just so cool the way that that felt. Can we talk about the breakup? <clears throat> yeah, we should. Oh, uh, with Dario? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was, I was yeah. <laughs> right, it's fine. It is mad, but I d I thought when he was like, "I love you," which you you very rarely see that on the show. I I thought he was gonna sway her, and that she's like, "Yeah, like come along," and it's she. That's just her power move yeah. once again to be like, "I I don't need you. I'm not gonna take." And you. he and he knew it was Tyrion's idea. Cause yeah, he's like, it was yeah. a dwarf wasn't so he? And she's like, it. "No one tells me what to do." <laughs> and then you see, like, yep, it was his idea. Yeah, yeah. but it makes sense. I just uh. It was done in such a um, classy, like, the way she did it. Mm -hmm. And then the way he was like, all right, you don't want me to come? Then I guess I'll I'm stay I'm going to miss here. those pyramid sets. Those are so yeah. nice. Like, the way the shots were framed in this, and this was directed by the same guys last week. All yep. season they had two directors do uh, – they had a director do two episodes in mm -hmm. a row all yeah. season. And it was the guy who did the Battle of Hard Home last year. And just, yeah, the way everything was framed. You had a lot of, like, people just right in the center with beautiful stuff. It was It was excellent. Yeah. I was like, yeah. wanted to take yeah. some screenshots just to, Dude, just to have <laughs> and to hold. <laughs> that sh the shot with Tyrion and Danny just sitting together uh -huh. with the big window behind them and the mm -hmm. sun. Uh, it was so good. And I was looking at those windows, and I was like, do they have glass windows? Because they have really nice panes. But it was <laughs> they, the windows are open. They just have like those bars, or they just have like iron bars with all these designs, all this like Tetris maze action. Wow, really? Yeah, that's I did cool. Not, I did not notice the window yeah, features. That's either. cool, though. Yeah, man. So, um, favorite parts. What are, you, what are your favorite part of the season finale? Do you have a favorite? Hmm. The Arya might have been. That might have been my favorite. The okay. King in the North chant. That was great. I yeah, uh, the little girl. Stepping up big again. Yeah, that yeah. was cool. I'm glad she got some more time. Um, I'm trying to think what else. That was pretty great. Uh, I think that the most surprising thing was the the Tommen, R.I.P. Tommen. Yeah, man. like well done by them too. Yeah, that was that was my biggest surprise. I was like, why is it ling lingering on the on the window? Mm -hmm. And he's then he's out of it. No hesitation. I thought it was just the. Uh, I thought it was just they wanted to continue showing you that you know the giant. Yeah, that's what I cloud thought. Just continue to impress it upon you, you know, make you look out at it the way he was looking out at it. But no, and hey, think no. about this: you got uh, like six seasons ago, you got Bran falling out of a window. Mm. Now you got the Ooh. Lannister kid. Oh yeah, Full and circle, it was right? Jamie pushing Bran out. This, the is, window. this exactly. is why you're the returning champion. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Symbolism. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah I, uh, the Jon Snow, like, that was my scene. Just because he's always been my top favorite mm -hmm. character. And just to get him, him to get the recognition from all the houses. And to get the, the the girl, like, you know, she's the one who swayed everybody. And was like, 
we're the only ones who, you know, were true to our allegiances. Mm-hmm. And then for them to flip, it was, it was so good. And to see him, his face, like, holy shit, I'm going to be the king of the north. And Sansa, like, looking at him, like, fucking right you are. Because, you know. I was also a little impressed, unimpressed with those guys. I think they're fair weather fans a little bit. I know. They're like, right? we've been pledged to the Starks for a thousand years. And it's like, oh, and then you just went with the Boltons? Like, I know. Come on. They're yeah. like Lakers fans. Yeah. That's what they are. They're yeah. like, yeah, losing season and you don't buy season tickets. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you had like Shaq and Kobe and Magic and come on. Like, let's go. Um, I, I want to I quickly uh, shout out one of my favorite shots, which was... Uh, in Dorne with the Sand Snakes and Lady Olena, and they're just talking, and it was it was is legit like a soap opera. Like Varys comes in, he's like, "What up, <laughs> blood and spirits, <laughs> and let's go!" And like, uh, I thought that was really funny. Can I, I just say, you guys are really good with names. Yeah, man. I, <laughs> well, I've read them, you know. So. I have not. I just, dude, you're like Jason. You're really. Uh, good. I am nice. always impressed with people who've only watched the show and they know a lot of names. Like, yeah. I, know I know the main players, and maybe <laughs> it goes back to like my high school days because uh, you know when I went to high school, no one knew each other's name. It was just like, hey, do you know Jason? And they'd be like, which one? I'd be like, yeah. dude, Jason, tall, wears button ups all the time. It's like Jason. Oh, yeah, that is his name. <laughs> and then and then you'd be like, oh yeah, I have lab with him. But like me, I'm just like, you just said her name, and I'm like, oh, the grandma. Yes, I know. I yeah. Know it's mostly – well, it took me, like, a couple of seasons, I will say, because, like, second season, I, I definitely remember being, like, okay. It was, like, the Battle of the Five Kings, and I was, like, oh, I can yeah. name, like, one of them, I guess. I got to figure this out. And then eventually, like – because I feel like the world has condensed to a degree that you kind of – like, mm-hmm. the people who are around now have been around for, like, a while. Yeah. We definitely condensed some people last night. For yeah. Sure. For real. <laughs> a lot R- of them. R.I.P. to, uh, again, the Papa Tyrell. Uh, <laughs> hey, that's think, your biggest that's your biggest oh my goodness that was so sad I, I was hoping he got out remember a couple of episodes ago when they were gonna storm the the church and he wore he was on the horse wearing yeah. his stupid armor that was great I love I love him that guy's R. a R. goon I don't know I love him can't 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 stress that enough. He's just another mediocre guy in power. <laughs> That's the thing. But the There's mustache so is real. Mustache yeah. game is mediocre oh, man real. with a master mustache. Yeah, <laughs> that any, mustache uh, should, should be on the Iron Throne. Any, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I agree with that. Let's go. I just make it him. a centerpiece at the very top. Yeah. What do you guys think about the fact that Cersei has always justified everything she did as being for her kids, and now she has zero kids? Where's she? Yeah. Gonna, what's she gonna do? Yeah, um, I think that it's like her her time to go. Like, I think this is just gonna be like, I think that we're gonna open next season with like, King's Landing's in ruin. Like, oh. she's just like a terrible ruler and mm. only cares about herself. And it's gonna be a Disney movie. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> like, I, I I don't know. Like, because in the books, like, I think one of the things in the books was like. Wasn't she like a terrible? Wasn't she like in charge, and then she got like locked away for being a terrible ruler? Um, I don't think she's ever been in charge. Um, she was pretty in cahoots with Joffrey pretty closely, but uh, okay. I I I haven't read the books. She's but. always been on the ca- on the high council there, yeah. but I don't know how effective she's she's been. But she is so feared right now. Like I don't know if we've seen a leader more feared. Maybe the Boltons, yeah. but oh. yeah. And now we see that she's, you know, I think this is like, I don't think it was her end game, but this is definitely the peak of her character arc. Like, it can't go any more up than this unless she wins, which is, you know, my wrestling knowledge of storytelling tells me (laughs) (laughs) she's the heel and babyface is coming. Yeah. Wow. I like that. So of the real, of our main, main power players here, uh, of like, say, Jon Snow, Daenerys, uh, Tyrion. Do you think any of those good, huge, huge good guys will die? Yeah, I definitely yeah. do. I think that... Um, what, do either of you guys watch The Wire? Did you guys watch I The did, Wire? Yeah. I so you know how... It. What? Ooh. I haven't seen it. Oh, Dude. come on, man. But Dude. I'm, I'm past the statute, so but you know, go. But you know how in season five, it was it was like winding down and like you had some of the major characters, mm-hmm. who I won't say for uh, your thank sake, you, thank you. Uh, die because it was like it was winding down. I think that like that's very... That's sure. v- that's very possible here. Mm-hmm. Like I think that like 
Did any major characters die this this season? I guess Mar like Marjorie, Marjorie. and Tommen would be maybe yeah. the biggest ones. But I don't even think. Even Tom, think Tommen yeah. like nobody really cared about him. Hordor, not even he was secondary yeah. character. He was just a, a, a fan favorite. He was great, but like there wasn't like la- I feel like last season there was more. Well, especially with John, but like, um, yeah, I feel like this next season, um, especially as they're winding down, I feel like. You know, I th- I feel like Tyrion could die. Like yeah. I really do. Like, that would be, I think, of the biggest. Like that would be the most heartbreaking. Yeah, yeah. Or, or like Theon could die. Like there's just like <sighs> p- like people like that aren't like completely essential to the story mm-hmm. that yeah. it, like have fulfilled their destiny. And, oh, and Theon. Could, that makes me think of their their uncle over there who took over the Iron Islands. Oh they, yeah, where's he's, uncle? He's got to do uncle something. Uri. I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I am pretty good with names. How yeah, about you that? are. <laughs> <laughs> when you said the uncle, I was like, okay. And I thought when they said like you're on, I'm like, okay, there's a name to go with uh, the, the, the character. Yeah. yeah. So no White Walkers last night. Did I already say that? Yeah, no, no White Walkers. White Walkers. That's, That's fine. Yeah. I They're think chilling. this season is gonna be just. Where are th- where are they? Where are the White Walkers? Are right, they just they're like really like milling around up there. Yeah, they're just they're like, like oh, right. let's. Yeah. Well, well if they like can't a, go past the wall, then I don't know. But then if they just march up and destroy kinda, the wall somehow, they're at a rest stop somewhere. In yeah, the I was gonna <laughs> say they're kind of like they're kind of on my ro- on a road trip with like my dad because my dad really likes to take take breaks <laughs> instead of just like you know like you have a like a even like a like a two hour drive. He's like, oh, let's stop and get like you know I gotta go to the bathroom or like let's stop and like get a snack. Like that's the Night King right now. He's getting snacks. So your dad is the Night King, and you're My one of the you're one of the long hair guys on the horses. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, nice. I like um, that. Anyway, we gotta we're 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 going long. Yeah, yeah I don't I don't, I don't know what else, else there is. I mean, yeah, no, I think anything I think about next everything. season or? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm curious to see how it goes because there's two major battles. You know, the yeah. battle with the White Walkers in the north, and the dragons. Hopefully. And King's Landing, like, shit's about to get real. Those yeah. ships with Danny and her dragons are going to get to King's Landing. I doubt it's going to be like, all right, let's go negotiate, see if they want to surrender, or if we just yeah. come in here, you know, gangbusters, and just, you know, burn the shit to the ground and kill whatever. Yeah, I can't wait. And, and so, uh, this is a good time to bring up that the it sounds like there might only be 13 episodes left yeah. spread over two oh. seasons. Oh, there's two so, seasons left. Yeah, yeah I, but it's they're uh, going to be both short. Yeah. Oh, like six and six. Like, like you know what six. I would like? Here's my here's my request, Game of Thrones people. If there are thirteen left, do ten at once, right? Oh. And then the final season is three episodes. Wow. Ooh. Like how three how, three how, hour episodes? Yeah. How? <laughs> 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 yeah. It'd basically just be Lord of the Rings. Right. But like seriously, like how pumped would people be? Yeah. A three week event for the final three episodes. It'd be that'd be amazing. Play play them all at once too. I'd sign up you for that. Then it'd be like a Game of Thrones movie. Oh my god. Yeah. Exactly. They could Jason, all interlock. That's a, yeah. Let's go. That is Let's a wildfire idea. Boom. Oh, cool. come on. <laughs> so this is uh so this is probably going to be my last uh back of the class for a while cuz there's like nothing else that I I, can talk about <laughs> I don't know, man. Game of Thrones. The the rage the rage segments we oh, might yeah. need you to what come I, in and do what something. What am I raging again? I guess I'm raging that uh the Tyrell guy. Yeah. Not um, enough childish Gambino in that finale. Oh, yeah, <laughs> right. No. Yeah. <laughs> Why do I, he needs a new app. That's what need. That's what needed to happen last night. Childish Gambino's new app. That Super was disappointed. <laughs> I thought it was a shoe in. All right, All right, cool. Thanks so much, Jason. Yeah, man. This thanks for joining. Awesome. Guys. Make sure yeah. to listen to Jason's uh, podcast. Pop chat. Pop, Pop chat. chat. Pop chat, man. Yeah. J- Jason lip shuts on Twitter. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Hit us up on Twitter. Predictions. What did you think? Did we not talk about something? Did we totally screw something up that never happened? <laughs> I doubt it because we got a guy who wrote. Who, not, not wrote. I'm sorry. Read all the books. I wrote them all. Don't, oh, did you? Don't, don't downplay Mr. Martin. that. Yeah. Um, yeah. So hopefully we'll be back later this week. We'll, yeah, we'll hit see us what up happens. on Twitter. Subscribe, yeah. review, all that good stuff. Yes. Peace. All right, take it easy. 